This week on Expressos with Entrepreneurs, we're going to talk about Al Gore's favorite invention, the internet. Welcome back to Espressos with Entrepreneurs. Alan Bunn, Lone Wolf Video here with Jeremy Harris of Reverb Coffee Company. So Jeremy, this week you told me you wanted to talk about websites. So we both have one. Yes. Something we both have. Something most businesses nowadays are going to have. Need to. Yeah, and so that and just some of the different aspects of what makes a good website a good website in our <laughs> beginner's eyes, I guess. Yeah. I took a the conventional route. I, I paid somebody to make my website because and this is this would be a good topic to evaluate what if you're actually good at it, then go for it. But I looked at coding and I looked at different languages of coding. I was like, there is no way that I'm ever going to figure this out. And for the money that I paid somebody to do it, it saved me so much time. So it was definitely worth it. So that's the first thing is just evaluate whether or not you have those skills. And if you do, that's great. But if you don't, it's okay. I mean, you know, website design can be expensive, but if you find the right people, you know, that are also entrepreneurs and getting their start in their own company, mm -hmm. they'll give you a good price as long as they can put their name in your code and people can click on it and go to their website. Um, but that's, you know, that's another tangent that we could cover. But um, one thing that's important to me is design. And while you're going through that, to have somebody to give you feedback. Like, I think I threw a couple ideas at you and some other friends that I know that have a good idea good eye that you know is pretty close to what the public likes or mm -hmm. you know what the public sees so that's important to me is um having that outsider perspective and having somebody because i can sit down and draw something out and say oh that looks that looks great but when when you get down to it it looks like crap and i if I had the final say, then that's how it's going to look and everybody's going to come to my website and my bounce rate's going to be, you know, super high because it's ugly. Why would I want to stay there? Um, I could ramble on. There's there's a lot of things, so, mm -hmm. but I'll, I'll let you. you know. Yeah, I mean, I know I didn't uh, I didn't really want to put any money into the design of it. Um, so I definitely didn't design it from scratch either because it is, uh, it's, there's a lot to it. it you know, it can look easy. I guess the good people make it look easy, but it's not. Um, Cause I know I tried and just even to make a crappy, really crappy looking website still is pretty difficult. So, but I did find, um, I, you know, decided to use, and I know you have it to WordPress cause that's kind of the most basic or one of the most common, um, you know, kind of cores of websites. And there are a lot of really good themes, some that you can pay a little bit for that wouldn't cost nearly as much as having one made for you. But I actually found one that I liked that was free and just kind of spent some time dabbling with it, you know, pulling little things out. And, uh, you know, I had to dabble a little in the code, but not not a whole lot. Just kind of, you know, some banner that was there that I didn't need that I could pull out relatively yeah. easily. And, you know, I always save things. So if I pulled something out and the site crashed, I was like, well, I got to put that back in there. Yeah. And just do one thing at a time. So there was a lot of trial and error and it did take time. Yeah. But um, I'm pretty happy with how it came out and it had even neat features like the uh, responsive design, which I think is a really cool thing now with mobile phones being so um, pervasive. A lot of people don't even, you know, tend to use desktops when they don't yeah. have to. So uh, my site can kind of break down, you know, to the most simplest elements, uh, to the simplest, not the most simplest elements when you're on the mobile phone. And um, that's kind of cool. So, yeah, I think after design, content is a big thing. We have to kind of yeah. always figure out what we want to put on the site. Um, as far as videos, that's cool with YouTube. I mean, I can put all my stuff on YouTube and embed the videos and I don't, I don't have to worry about, you know, years ago when you had to and put all that into your site and yeah. bog your site's load time down and everything. But yeah. um, also trying to put original content on there to help with you know, coming up in search results and stuff. Yeah. And that's another thing too is make sure, well, I didn't think about it for a long time, but make sure you're actually thinking about search engine optimization, you know? Yeah. So if somebody types in Memphis Coffee or Memphis Coffee Roaster, hopefully I'll come up. I think I'm on the third page of both of those searches now, and I'm just now starting it within the last month, and that's 
I've seen exponential, you know, uh, rise in the search results. So um, there's different plugins, there's different applications, there's people that can do it. That's really expensive though. People that are like masters at search engine optimization, but yeah. they'll get you to the top of Google if that's something that's that valuable for you. If you're doing e-commerce, like my site does a little bit, or if, you're ba if your business is pretty much web driven like Alan's, then that's probably pretty important. But then again, you have to evaluate is this worth it or should I just do it on my own? And that's that's something every entrepreneur probably thinks about in every aspect of their business. Like, you know, <laughs> I do probably 95% of the work. I clean, I work on my website, I make deliveries. It's like I can't, I shouldn't have to pay anybody to do those because it's cheaper for me to do them. And I'm, I think I would relate to the customers better than anybody else right now at this point. So that's, you know, that's something I think about. Like I said, I could go all day on websites and like we've said before, we're not experts on anything and our websites aren't perfect. They're probably very far from it. If you went through it, you probably have 10 or 15 feedback things and go for it. Oh yeah, I think feedback, that's always yeah. great. Um, if you have any questions that you think we didn't cover about websites in this episode, leave it down in the comments below and we'll hit on it next time. Yeah. and. Uh... Yeah, comment on anything else. If you have any topics you want us to talk about, uh, we could always use ideas. Um, like us on Facebook, Twitter. There's still a few days left to win a free bag of the uh, Reverb Ethiopian Roast. Yep. And uh, so go back and watch the last uh, video to see all the details on that. And uh, I think that pretty much covers everything. So Yeah, so don't take yourself too seriously.